Good morning, sir. Good morning, classmates. I am Aldrin A. Tijones, and I am going to present my final output for this subject, which is the Information Systems Strategic Plan. So today, I will be presenting to you an example of a strategic plan for Tinaisan Elementary School, which is I am a part of. So I am open for suggestions, for recommendations, for criticisms in order to improve my output and hopefully apply it in our school in the future. So the Tinaisan Elementary School Information Systems Strategic Plan for School Year 2021-2025. to Part 1, Organizational Profile. Letter A, the Department, the Agency Vision, and the Mission Statement. So, this information system is based on several legal bases, one of which is the 1987 Philippine Constitution, the Basic Education Act of 2001, and R18533, otherwise known as the Governance of Basic Education Act of 2013. <clears throat> the vision statement. We envision a user-friendly and efficient information system that will track and analyze school data, resource distribution, and expenditure to take the school a step further in the right direction and to better serve our clientele. <coughs> the mission statement is to manage, plan, and strategize implementation of work processes in school efficiently and effectively. The major final outputs, first, is strengthen IT service provider of the school. Organize an information system development team that will do in-house information system development and allocate sources of funds to finance the information technology and information systems strategic initiatives. Letter B, department or agency profile. So I have write, wrote my name as the designated IS planner. Plan to leave position, the head teacher one. Uh, I have here there the email address and the contact number. Current annual ICT budget, I have stated there 100,000. The organizational structure, I ha we have um, a total of eight teachers in our school. The organization and its environment. So, Tinaisan Elementary School is at the bottom. Uh, interconnected with the school-based management practices which is anchored on the governance of Basic Education Act of 2001 and of 2013. Also, we are connected or part of our uh, school environment is our school partners and our linkages which is the different school stakeholders both internal and external <clears throat> and we are doing this we are doing all these initiatives for the betterment of our school performance for the betterment of our learners and of our um, clients. Present ICT situation or the strategic challenges of the school. Tinaisan Elementary School is a developing elementary school of Alang Alang One District, Alang Alang Leyte. Currently, the information systems the school is implementing are based on the imposed and dated information systems both by the division and, and central offices and of the region. Though the school is a recipient of a deep and computerization program package, it is already not functional, thus there is not enough number of computers and laptops in the school. The school has a Wi-Fi connection, however the signal is weak due to the school's location. Strategic concerns for ICT use. So I have there the major final output, the critical management operating business systems, the problems, and the intended use of information systems plan. 
For the major final outputs I have there, strengthen IT service provider of the school, organize an information system development team that will do in-house IS development, and allocate sources of funds. The critical management operating business systems. Um, I have there to empower and capacitate teachers on the skills needed to be an IT provider of the school. Also, request for an IT provider of the school from the local government unit or from the district that will man the information system of the school. Then enroll, register teachers in a specialized course or specialized training on information systems development and strengthen school partnerships and linkaging to possible donors uh, for, this, for this initiative. The problems at present. So at present, the school has no ICT-based information management system aside from those provided by the DepEd. Despite the presence of several data collection mechanism of DepEd, discrepancies in data still persists. Employees lack the skill to manage information systems. Absence of IT personnel, lack of state-of-the-art IT equipment and internet connection, funds for supply, maintenance, orientations, workshops, trainings, and monitoring, lack of computers and weak internet connectivity. There is an infrastructure problem to realize IS of the school. The level of computer use is inefficient and database software for school guidance services library automation uh, and other school um, data gathered procedures are still not present intended use of information system plan to supply school heads or teachers with enough technical opportunities to accept and harmonize information systems programs then obtain necessary database and softwares to implement this initiative and finally to um, provide funds to finance these initiatives the information system strategy letter a conceptual framework for information systems so i am um, envisioning to have a school information system uh, separate for school statistics for performance indicators and for quick count uh, data of the school when we talk about school statistics these are the um, school data a uh, basic school data such as the enrollment uh, absenteeism as um, absenteeism or attendance number of corpus beneficiaries and all other data um, um, needed by the school uh, when I talk, we talk about performance indicators information system uh, this uh, this will tackle or handle um, data encoding storage processing and analysis of school data such uh, related to performance indicators such as cohort survival rate, contribution rate, dropout rate, um, dropout rate, repetition rate, uh, such like those data uh, such as those. Then quick count information systems these are data needed um, for planning and, bud planning and budgeting for example <coughs> number of comfort rooms per classroom number of school buildings um, number of chairs desks tables in the school the detailed description of proposed information systems i have there for letter B and for letter C, the database required. So for database required, I still do not have a name and general contents or description for because uh, I still do not know actually what to put. Um, 
hopefully you can you can help me uh, suggest or uh, what to to put in those blank um, fields. Network layout. Actually, this is not a really a network layout because uh, I still also do not know how to organize uh, those IS on a network but so instead of how, providing a network layout I just uh, provided a parang scheduling or program of activities on how to implement those uh, information systems for example, I have there orientation of teachers in the use of contextualized data gathering instruments or in the use of softwares needed for the IS implementation. I have there retrieval of accomplished data gathering instruments, manual validation of data, then timely generation of this data, and processing of the school statistics, quick counts, and performance indicators. So the, uh, the uh, primary purpose of having an IS for the school is really to streamline data collection, data processing, data analysis, and to have a quickly uh, available data once needed or required by the division or by the district. Internal ICT or IS projects, so I have there name or title, objectives, duration, deliverables, then rank in the order of priority or order of prioritizing. So first I have there training workshop on capability building for teachers on IS and ICT related skills. So the objective of this activity is to empower and capacity teachers on the skills needed to be an IT or IS provider of the school <clears throat> and also to organize an IS development team that will do the in-house IS development. Duration for this is June 2022 to July 2022. The deliverables, I have their certificate of participation, completion and activity completion report and this is ranked number two in terms of priority. Number two, provision of better internet connectivity in the school. So primarily the objective is to have a strong internet signal for online related IS transactions. The duration is January 2022. Um, the deliverables is the subscription to an internet plan. Because today we are still using the parang Wi-Fi, lolo dan la elderman. So by next year, we will have it planned. So this is the first priority. Number three. Enhance the school data gather gathering tool. This is to better, to for better M and E processes at the school. So this will start on January 2022 to January 2025. So we have there enhance the school data gathering tool, which is rank number three. Number four, request for additional PC and laptops for the school. This is to have additional laptops and this desktops for the school which is needed once we will be able to implement the IS system. So we have there enough number of laptops and PCs, number four. And lastly, to purchase um, database or software for school information system, uh, for school information system. So this is in contingency. Uh, a contingency plan or an additional plan for or in case we won't be able to develop an IS system based only on the capability building or training workshop of the teachers. Performance measurement framework so we have there hierarchy of targeted results, object verifiable indicator, the baseline data, the targets, the data collection methods, and the responsibility to data collect, of to collect data. 
So I have there the targeted results. Um, empowered and uncapacitated teachers on IT or IS skills. Enhanced internet productivity. Enhanced school data gathering tool. Then provided PCs and laptops for the school. Then purchased database or software for school information system. Objectively verifiable indicators. I have there eight teachers empowered and capacitated in terms of IT and IS skills. Then internet subscription. Enhanced is DGT. Then available PCs and laptops in the school. Then data and software in use. Data and software in use. For number one, baseline data is one teacher empowered and capacitated. That is at present. Then the target is to have eight teachers empowered and capacitated after three years. Uh, we have their certificate of participation and completion. The responsible, responsible person are the monitor and evaluation committee. For the number two, we have their baseline, 1,000, uh, a limit, a minimum of 1,000. Uh, plan for internet subscription then for after three years you'll be able to have it by, uh, by 2,999 per month uh, plan internet subscription for number three have there uh, today we'll, uh, we are still using this school data gathering tool at present then we'll, uh, after three years uh, within uh, three years three year time we will be able to enhance our this this digit in consonance with the IS system of the school. Then number four, currently we have two PCs and one laptop, and we are hoping to have three or eight personal computers and eight laptops within three years' time. Then today, uh, aside from those um, depth ed. That uh, provided um, IS, we have zero in our school, and hopefully we will be able to uh, have a 100% um, contextualized, locally um, locally developed IS in use for only for our school. The resource requirements we have there item. Office productivity, capital outlay, ICT machinery, and equipment. So we have their desktops or laptops. Uh, for year one, we will try to purchase three laptops and desktops. Year two, another three. And year three, um, another two laptops and desktops. Printing equipment, printers, and planning to have it to have one is to one printer for every classroom in the next three years. So for year one, where we have our now baseline which is three printers, then for year two we will be having six and year for year three we will be having eight printers or more. Then for software, office productivity tool. So my only I only knew software Office productivity tool, for example, the Microsoft Office 365. We have already, we already have that the Microsoft Office 365. So 30, 30, and 20. So I have their percentages. So this is 30 percent for year one, year two 30 percent, and year three 20 percent. So only about 80 percent, hopefully. For year three, we will have an 80% functional information system in or in our school. So letter B, MOOA, so the the training and the specialized course for IS and IT related uh, trainings or special courses would be shouldered by the MOOE of the school. Uh, under the code of trainings and seminars.
So I have there the ICT organizational structure. This is the for letter A. That is the existing ICT organizational structure. At the top is the division coordinator, then the district ICT coordinator, then the school ICT coordinator. So I will be proposing the new uh, organizational structure for ICT or IS. So we have there the division coordinator, and there is the district coordinator, the school head, the school ICT coordinator, and the I will be having in charge for each um, IS for school statistics, for performance indicator, and for quick count. Then at the bottom are the teachers, which is the primary implementer of this policy. Part 5 is the development and investment program. So hopefully, all of the named ICT and IS project will be accomplished by within 3, year, three years time, year 1, year 2, and year 3. Um, so that's it sir for my final output. Uh, I am open for suggestions, for comments, so that I will be able to come up with a, an enhanced uh, information systems strategic plan so based on your recommendations and suggestions. Thank you so much and have a good day everyone.